In this video I will go over the homework that follows the lecture that covers the divergence test and as always I hope that you watched the lecture and let's go ahead and jump right into the homework and the first question is asking us to apply the divergence test to a given series and to apply the divergence test means to find the limit of the nth term as n approaches to infinity. So here we would have to use all the tools and skills that we acquired in the previous um, uh, sections uh, because this is a question of convergence of a uh, sequence and we are going to look at this sequence and intuitively we know it's going to be infinity because we have a polynomial and a logarithmic uh, function here so again I'm using that uh, very useful theorem conditionally here uh, so by L'Hopital's rule this is the same as by L'Hopital's rule, this is the same as this limit. And this limit is equal uh, to infinity, and because it is not equal to zero, we conclude that this original series diverges uh, and the reason is by divergence test. So the divergence test says that if a series converges then its nth term must approach to zero so the contrapositive of that is that if the term doesn't approach to zero then the series doesn't converge that is it diverges so the series diverges now note that if that limit was equal to zero we would say that the test is inconclusive we wouldn't we would never say that the series converges by the divergence test that's not the purpose of this test All right, next question. Same question. We're given a series. And to apply the divergence test means we have to, let me actually write that. Like, let's make a habit of declaring declaring whatever test we are using so i'm using divergence test and to do the divergence test means i'm looking for the limit of the nth term but it's the same as finding the limit of a sequence so here it's just a matter of uh simplifying it because n plus six factorial it's has all the same elements as n plus two factorial but it also has n plus 3, n plus 4, n plus 5, and n plus 6. So when n plus 2 factorial is uh, reduced, we have a limit of a sequence that looks like a polynomial. So when n goes to infinity, this also goes to infinity so since it's not equal to zero we conclude that this series diverges by the divergence test number three we have a So this question 
even though we don't have a series, but this question is a setup for this uh, question. So let me just write it as if we had a series And now we would apply the divergence test and to apply the divergence test would mean to find the limit as n goes to infinity of this exact um, sequence. And here, again, the The why is it equal infinity? It's not as important as the fact that it is equal to infinity. So I don't really want to focus on the reasons. So intuitively, we know that. I guess I can I can explain why is it so. But intuitively, so here's how because this being a first step of some other problem, you don't really want to spend too much time on this. So you want to develop intuition in regards to identifying the limit of some common sequences. So in this case, like intuitively, we know that this limit will be the same limit as this. So pretty much when n goes to infinity, you can treat uh, polynomials as, um, not treat them as, but you can replace each polynomial with just its leading term. So polynomial behaves at infinity exactly the same way as its leading term. So these limits are the same. And, and therefore, the entire limit will be equal to the same limit as negative 2n which is negative infinity. So, because it's not equal to zero, we conclude that this series diverges. Um, but, if we had to really explain why this limit is equal to negative infinity, so here we would use uh, different logic. So we would take this... Um, expression and we would divide everything by n squared or let's divide it by n just n i think it's better to divide it just by n right so in the numerator we're going to have 10 over n minus 2n in the denominator we're going to distribute that you know 1 over n inside of the cube root so it's going to go inside of the cube root as 1 over n cubed. So we're going to have 1 plus 5 over n squared plus 3 over n cubed. And again, this solution is still inspired by strong intuition that this limit has to be inf inf equal to infinity. And um, so for that reason, I personally prefer this uh, reasoning because it's just nicer and shorter. But what I'm showing you right now, it's what you would see in, in the textbook. So this now goes to zero, this goes to zero, this goes to zero. So the whole thing now, pretty much, uh, the denominator goes to one entirely, right? Because everything inside goes to zero except one. Mm -hmm. And now we pretty much have the same conclusion, negative two n over one, which is which is negative infinity. So, um, yes, that's, that's, that's a more formal reasoning. And to answer this question, we would say the limit is equal to negative infinity, but in the context of using the divergence test, we would say the um, series diverges by the divergence test. Oh, that's actually interesting. The books used to used to 
do what I just did, but it's interesting that they now applying the shorter reasoning. All right, next problem. Uh, we have seen similar problem before. So again, in the context of series, this is what the question would look like. And if we apply the divergence test, then we set it up as a limit as n goes to infinity of this sequence and using the properties of factorials we can reduce this numerator into the product of all the terms that n plus 2 factorial has and then we're going to have n plus 3 and so on all the way up to n plus 8 so after this cancels we have the limit as n goes to infinity and we have nothing but n plus 3 times n plus 4 and so on up to n plus 8 which of course goes to infinity as n goes to infinity so we would say this series diverges by the divergence test but to answer this question we would have to say just infinity and the homework is complete if you have um, any questions please feel free to reach out